What's going on you guys? Happy New Year. So I have a HP Elite Desk 800G1, gonna be upgrades. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna move to the other side. So I'm gonna move the side cover panel. And so what you guys need, uh, it's using the Torx T15. You have to use, if you don't have a Torx T15, you just have to use a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna be using my, uh, the T15 bit for this one. It's gonna be a lot better. Because basically what I'm gonna do is uh, upgrade the CPU, RAM, a video card, and also solid state drive and upgrade the hard drive. And I'm gonna show you guys the components. So the video card, GTX 1650, uh, I've got two more sticks of RAM, so it'll be total 32 gigs of RAM I'm going to upgrade. It has 16 gigs installed, but I'm going to install two more, and each one, each stick is 8 gigs. It's a PC3L, the CPU is a i7-4770, the CPU installed here is an i3, it's too slow. And the hard drive, no solid state drive, will be SSD, this is a 512. Also Samsung, or if you guys want to get something better, then you go with uh, either e Evo, either 500 gigs or one terabyte, or the a Pro Series, the most expensive you can buy, Samsung. But I'm gonna go with the 512 Samsung. And the last part is a three terabyte hard drive for extra storage. So first I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lift this up. And it's got our, see this right here, two and a half inch SSD. I'm gonna clip it up like this and it comes out. I'm gonna disconnect the SATA power cable. You guys are asking the what about the screws where do i buy the screws uh, they sell them online uh you can buy them either through amazon or through ebay and they're a little bit different than uh three and a half inch let me get those you see that the three and a half inch using the different uh, screws for the mounting and those are a lot different so you have to buy them separately Install it back. This is the one that was installed. This is the one I'm installing the 512 Samsung. it back so you're gonna connect back the and you install it it just clips in so now what I will do is I will install a three and a half inch Be two screws on each side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, so there's the cables, Satan power cable. 
Okay, and I'm gonna lift it up, look at it. Okay. Okay, it's right here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the SATA and power cable. And install it. And it slides up like this and up. And the way you're gonna move it is right here. There's a little clip and it slides down. So now again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift this up. And upgrade the RAM. I'm using Match Pair. It has 16 gigs installed here. And I'm gonna add eight for each slot. So it'll be max at 32 gigs of RAM, maximum you can install. Now what I'll do is lift this up. This is a, what you, if you guys were asking about this little plastic piece, this is a fan trout. What this does is a, it controls the airflow They're going this way. And the way you remove it is you're gonna lift it up like this, comes out. And with the CPU. You guys only able to see it, so I'll have to go like this. I'm using my left hand instead. And you're gonna disconnect the CPU fan. It's a four pin. I will need uh, just a paper towel. Wipe this off. Same with the heat sink. Yeah, if you guys are gonna be not upgrading the CPU, I do recommend uh, removing the CPU cooler heat sink and reapply the new thermal compound. So I'm gonna take a paper towel again and I'll be using the 91% rubbing alcohol. Small amount, not too much. Wipe this on here. Now what I'm gonna do is remove the CPU. You guys can see, so I'm gonna go like this. There's a pin right here, lift this up like this. CPU comes out. It's i3, upgrade to i7, 4770, or you can upgrade to 4790 if you want. Let's see, zoom in, yeah, you guys can see it. And the way you guys can install it is you see that corner? This is gonna be the top corner right here, left, left, and right. That's the only way you can install it. The way you see this, the way you can install it. One way. Now, what I will do is I need to take a thermal compound and apply it on the CPU. Not too much.
that's good enough. Okay. I'm going to reinstall back. So you're going to take this this header back and you're going to install back to the motherboard for pin. And install back like this. Now, you guys were asking, do I have to update the BIOS? No, you don't have to update the BIOS. It's a fourth gen CPU, so you don't have to. If you don't want to, you don't have to upgrade. So check each side. Just double check. Now, I'm gonna install this back, this fan shroud. And be the last part, guys, it will be the video card. So you're going to lift this up like this, gently. And there's a secure clip right here. You guys can see right here. Uh, with your finger right here, you take this up, lift it up. And the video card will be able to pull, pull it up like this. It comes out. See that? You can take your finger and you're gonna lift this up, then you're gonna pull the video card at the same time. So it's got let me show you guys. So the top one is a PCI Express times 16 slot, the two bottom one right here, PCI Express times one, and the, the bottom Y one is a PCI Express times four slot right here, the bottom one. We're gonna install the video card right here through the top one, the black one. You're gonna move one of the PCI brackets because the video card will be using two slots. Uh, can't see, okay. Okay. Take a flathead screwdriver and try to. Okay, now it's installed. So what I'll do is, you guys were looking at this VD card, uh, this right here. This is a extra LAN card, gigabit LAN card installed here. Intel. If you by the way, right here, the bottom one. So that's VD cards installed. And let's see. If you guys were asking about the power supply, the power supply here is a 240 watt. It will run perfectly with the GTX 1650. So, let me close the side. And install the psycho panel. I'm gonna show you guys the back, how it looks. This is how the video card is going to look like. So yeah, guys, this has been the video. And uh, don't forget, uh, I'll upload the separate video for the teardown. Thanks for watching. Bye.